one of the best things you can do for your e-commerce brand to get better results with email marketing is cleaning your email list. And that's for two reasons. First of all, if you do it correctly, you're gonna end up paying way less for Klaviyo that could be hundreds or even thousands of dollars saved every single month on your Klaviyo bill. And secondly, if you do it right, you're gonna clean your list, have better deliverability, better open rates, and ultimately more eyeballs on your emails, which will result in more sales. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your email list with Klaviyo for better ROI. Let's get right into this. So let's start with what even is list cleaning. Cleaning your list is just removing subscribers from your email list. It's as simple as that. You won't be removing everyone, so don't get me wrong, just unengaged people. And by unengaged people, I mean everyone who is not opening or clicking your emails. I know that you might be hesitant that like, hey, why would I remove someone who, you know, I've been working so hard to get on my email list, but the chances of these subscribers ever buying from you are extremely low, probably around 1% or even less than that. So there's no reason why you should be keeping them because if you do then you'll pretty much end up paying for the profiles that are never going to buy from you. Now why is this important? So in February 2025 Klaviyo changed their pricing and right now you're going to be charged based on how many active profiles you have rather than on how many cents you're using every single month. That means you can save on your Klaviyo bill just by cleaning your email list and getting rid of all of, of all those don't unengaged profiles. So for example if you have an email list of 100k people or profiles but your email month usage is only 500k which is 50% of your plan you will still need to pay for the whole 100k profiles which is I think like 1 million cents so we will be using only 50% of the plan but you still need to pay for the whole plan for 100k profiles just because they changed it and I'm not a fan of this change but you know I'm not here to judge I'm here to show you how to save money and just make more money with Klaviyo so this is how it works right now but also like if you clean your list like I said before your deliverability will also improve as you will get rid of unengaged subscribers and you will see your open rates go up across the board so for campaigns flows and all of that now how to do it it's actually fairly simple there's gonna be three steps so create segments to suppress export these segments and then suppress them in Klaviyo and no worries I'm gonna show you how to do all of that step by step and by the way if you want to access to this guide there's gonna be a link below this video and also in the pinned comments so you can access it with the exact copy and paste definitions for your um, cleaning your email list so this is gonna be the first segment which is called exclusion list now for this segment you're always gonna take those profiles and remove them right away there's no reason why you shouldn't do it um, these profiles are essentially you know dead um, so we're never gonna email them and even if you do it's gonna you know hurt your deliverability big time so let me show you how to do it in Klaviyo you will just go to audience list and segments create new create segment normally we call it VM which stands for my agency's name which is Ventive Mail so if you also like want us to manage your emails this is where you can look us up at ventivemail.com but yeah you can just call it exclusion list right and then you follow this definition again if you want access to this guide there's gonna be a link below this video so someone can receive marketing and what someone has done and then you just click for all of that which is dropped email at least once overall time what someone has done or or you do it um bounced email at least once overall time or uh mark the spam at least once overall time right and to do it like that, exactly like in the dog I showed you, you create the segment, it's gonna populate, and once you have it, you need to export it, which I'm gonna show you later on as well. Now let me clarify all of the other segments you need for cleaning your email list. So the second one is gonna be one year old and zero received emails. So these are profiles who have been on your list for over a year, but they haven't received any emails from you. This is gonna be very rare, um, where you know someone has actually been for over a year but didn't open anything. But if you're doing your segmentation correctly, you're gonna have a bunch of people like that where they're just not receiving the emails because they don't fall under the engaged segment so there's no reason why you should be sending the emails to them so with all that being said if you're not sending those emails to them then they shouldn't be on your emails because you're paying for profiles that are not even getting emails from you so the chances of them opening one are zero because you're not getting any emails so we'll also do the same thing um so create a segment in Klaviyo export the csv file suppress it and then you're all good again i'm going to show you how to do it as well now one year old and no engagement so this is quite similar where we have profiles older than a year but we have profiles that have never opened an email from you like ever and people who have never clicked your email so super unengaged people and don't, like also you could go ahead and email those people but if you would do probably your open rate would be like five or ten percent 
maximum, right? So we would hurt your deliverability, you wouldn't really get many sales, you would get a lot of bounces, you would get a lot of spam complaints, it's just not worth it. So don't do it for all of those three segments, suppress them right away. Now let me show you how to do this segment maybe, because this has you know, some different variables, which you might not know how to do. So let's get right into it, um, I'm just gonna quickly copy the segment name, but again, you go to audience, list and segments, create new, create segment, you paste or you know enter the segment's, the segment's name and then for the definition you have first active so normally you would do what someone has done but first active is going to be properties about someone you type in first active um at least 365 days ago right or uh properties about someone um and i think it was let's just very quickly see created at least um 365 days ago right so these are the first two variables that you need and again like normally you know for all the other ones you'll know how to do it so then you would do end some what someone can do receiving marketing um and what someone has done open an email zero times overall time and i think it was or as well right like or end yeah not dropped email but opened email apologies opened email zero times overall time and uh, clicked email zero times overall time as well Right, so we would go ahead and then create this segment, um, and once again you have one more segment which would be unengaged. So normally in the past this would be a trigger for a sunset flow, but right now I'm honestly not doing sunset flows at all. This segment, it is a bit more safe, so if you feel like, okay, my deliverability is good, and they want to go ahead and re-engage some of those people, what you would do is you would create this exact segment in Clavio, you would go to manage segment, sample segment members, and then you would make samples. So let's say your regular recipient size, that you know how many people are getting your campaigns, is going to be 100k profiles. So we would take 10k out of this engaged segment and plug them into your next send to try and re-engage them. One 10k, um, well, because if you do more, it's going to hurt the deliverability. If you think about it, if your recipient size or like campaign's recipient size is going to be 100k and you take 10k sample, it's only going to be like 10% of the whole list. So even if your open rate across the whole campaign is 50%, but for this unengaged segment, it's going to be like 10% or 5%, it's not going to drastically decrease your overall open rate. So your deliverability or domain's reputation won't go down that much, right? So we would go ahead, create samples. And then, for example, you know, um, April 2025, because right now it's April. So we would call it like that, and then 10k, right, samples, or like members. This is how you would do it, but again, always go ahead and create the segment. But now, let's talk about Sunset and Engaged Flow. Because I used to set it up for every single brand we work with. I used to preach about it, like, hey, you need it absolutely 100%, but I'm not doing it anymore. We paused all of the flows that we have for all of our clients, and right now I don't recommend using them at all. You may be wondering why, but the explanation is fairly simple. That's mainly because ESPs, which is inbox service providers, go to way more strict with who you send your emails to, and if you send an email to someone who didn't open any of your 10 emails, which, you know, if you're wondering why 10, this is because it was the definition for the sense engaged um, flow, your deliverability will take a big hit. Because if someone got 10 emails from you, didn't open any of them, the chances of your email being 11th one landing in the primary tab are very, very, very low. Best case, you're going to end up in promotions, but those people won't open it anyways. Like if they didn't open it in the primary tab, they probably won't open it in the promotions as well. So instead of creating this flow, just suppress the profiles above. So all of those four segments, um, this one including, right? Now, should you delete or should you suppress those profiles? And this is a valid question because there are two ways to remove profiles in Clavio. You can delete them right away or you can export the list and suppress it. All the lists that you export and suppress can be re-uploaded in the future um, to try and re-engage the prospects, ideally during Black Friday. Now, with the latest Clavio changed, you, you can't upload those profiles for the next three months after you suppress them. So something to keep in mind. But usually this still won't give you a huge boost in sales. It will bring in some extra revenue um, and re-engage all the profiles, but it won't be a high percentage. So like don't don't have high hopes for this, because usually when we do it for our clients, you know, even for the ones that insist on this, the open rate for this suppression list is going to be like 5 to 10 percent which again is very very low so i personally don't recommend you do this because again it's also going to hurt your deliverability but if you really want to if you really insist on that this is what you can do okay 
But this is why I would suggest deleting the exclusion list and then exporting plus suppressing the rest. Worst case, you just never use them, but you can always re-upload them if you would like to or if you ever need them for something else. So now, how to suppress the profiles? Let me show you how to do it. You go to the segments that you created, and I'm gonna show you how, gonna show you how to do it for one segment, but you will do it for all of the four segments I showed you in this video. So you click on one year old, no engagement, manage segment, export to CSV. You would select only email. If you select more fields, you will still need to get rid of them because suppression lists can be done only with emails. So select email only, start export. It's gonna give you CSV export. Right now, my segment is fairly small, so it's gonna be pretty quick. Then you go to profiles, click on view suppressed profiles, and then import, and then you would upload the CSV file um, one by one from all of the segments I showed you and then click on upload and this is how you would do it you would suppress your entire list um, or the segment that you created and then if you ever plan on using those profiles again you would take and create a google drive dropbox or somewhere else where you can store those lists and use them whenever you need to right and then one more thing you want to do is turn on auto downgrade because if you clean your list like that's great this is one you know the first step to saving on your clever build but then you actually need to go ahead and you know decrease your plan so we'll click on your brand's name you go to billing then you would go to change plan right right now obviously this is my demo account so my plan is the, the minimum one but normally you would go ahead and you would select your plan whatever that would be so let's say you're using 100k profiles and you have cleaned your list and right now it's 60k profiles you would go ahead decrease it and then for email upgrade preference make sure it says none and then make sure you select auto downgrade profiles, right? Then you would click on continue payment and finish all of this stuff. But this is very, very important. If you do this, then anytime you clean the list, you won't need to downgrade it manually. Clavio will do it at the start of the next billing period for you. So like it's going to be automated, you know, somewhat automated, which is also like pretty cool, right? So make sure you do it and make sure you turn on the auto downgrade right if you um if you have a paid plan and if you can't see this thing which is you know email upgrade preference and then um selecting this part you will find it in preferences right now i don't have it because you know um i have a free plan so i didn't have the option to do this but if you couldn't find it once once you're downgrading the um the profile you will you will find it in the preferences tab and then you will have the exact same boxes so email upgrade change it to none and then select this thing and click update for both of them now, how often should you clean your list? So with the most recent Clavio update, the best practice is obviously to clean your list every single month. Now, if you have a small list and it won't affect your Clavio plan too much, you can do it every three months. What I mean by it won't affect your Clavio plan too much? Well, if you have a pro uh, plan for 25k profiles and you clean your list and you have like 22, probably before you know we get to 25k again, it will be like two or three months. So you don't need to do it every single month, even though you can. Like if you have the time to do it or capacity, you can do it every single month because list hygiene is super important. Um, so yeah, other than that, you can do it every three months um, and you're still gonna be fine. Just make sure to exclude the segments I showed you from all of your campaigns so you don't damage your, damage your sending domain's reputation, right? So follow of all of the segments I showed you, which is exclusion list, one year old, no received emails, one year old, no engagement and unengaged, you would go ahead and remove all of them from all of your campaigns. For the unengaged one, you don't need to remove it from all of the campaigns, um, especially if it's like a sale or a big announcement or new arrivals or restock or stuff like that. You don't need to e exclude this segment then, but for all of these three, you want to be always excluding them from all of your campaigns. So that would be it, but there's one more bonus for you. So if you want to get your email list cleaned for you, like completely done for you and for free, there's going to be a link below this video where you're going to just have a quick chat with me. I'm going to get access to your Clave account and I'm going to clean your list for entirely free you're gonna have your csv files stored in google drive and on top of that i'm gonna do a free clavio audit for you to find some more opportunities on how you can make more money and better roi with your clavio so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you want your list cleaned for free again link below this video or in the pinned comments other than that i hope you enjoyed it and talk to you soon cheers